Today, <clears throat> I will speak about the importance of the throat chakra. Most of you, most of the time, live in the lower chakras, first and second, survival, and senses, survival, and simple skills are all in first two chakras. It is the nature of the 3D reality to be in the lower chakras. It is fine. The third chakra is the chakra of manifestation. It is the chakra of the willpower, the solar plexus, yellow color, sunlight, connection to the sun. Shifting to the willpower is essential. When you ask how to manifest, it is the use of the third chakra. It is the energy of the third chakra. First three chakras work in time space. Time is essential, space is essential. When you want to manifest something in the 3D matrix, work through the third chakra, work through yellow color. Pray to the sun god, smile, be in joy. And then you shift to the fourth chakra, to the heart. It is also essential. It is getting connected to your higher emotions, higher feelings, compassion, kindness, and as you shift through the veil between the third chakra and the fourth chakra, you shift away from the time space. You shift in the space of no time, no space. <laughs> to the place of no time, no space. Kindness, love, compassion, penetrate time. They are eternal. They are on the other side. Higher sadness is in the heart. It is a valid emotion. It is an important emotion. It is part of you, part of manifestation. The manifestation happens through the cooperation between the third chakra and the fourth chakra, where the third chakra provides the willpower, provides the instrument for the manifestation. It is the, it is your hands. There is noise, please mute yourself. It is your hands, it is your tool for manifestation, where the heart chakra provides the emotional support, provides the background, subconscious support for the manifestation, which is as essential. 
it works outside of time space. It works in the etheric. Please mute yourself. There is noise coming. There is etheric component of the heart work. It is something that happens in the sleep. It is something that happens during the day, subconsciously. So manifestation requires the heart chakra. Many of you have heart chakra blocked. The modern education, modern upbringing blocks much of the heart chakra. It is the chakra of trust. And the trust is lost in the early age. It is part of the culture to teach the children not to trust anyone, even the parents. When your mother took away her breast, you cried and it was a blockage of your heart chakra because you were disconnected. You were given love in limited quantities. You wanted to be united. You wanted to be one. You were one with your mother and then you were separated. So this separation creates many blockages in your heart chakra. Now is the time for you to go back in your childhood. Go back in your childhood. Um, <laughs> Remember it, remember it, recall the events. It is possible as you tell it to yourself, as you write it down, as you tell it to your friend, you start remembering. You recreate and solve that trauma. Resolve that trauma. Now you are stronger. Now you have the fire. Now you have the connection to the spirit. Now you understand what is happening. You understand what has happened. It was part of the training. Now is the time to heal, release, resolve the heart trauma. Often you feel sadness. The higher you climb, in the spiritual development, the higher is your temple of your spirit. The higher is the temple of your spirit. The more often you get depressed, the more often you get sad. Why is that? It is the nature of the spiritual development because you are still a human. You still exist on all levels and you still exist in the lower levels. Lower levels drag you back. They pull you back. The higher you fly, the stronger is the pull of the lower levels. It's okay. There are many ways to solve it. Some of you solve it by withdrawing from the lower levels. Some of you solve it by living in the heart and higher. Some of you just take it easy. And some of you get surprised by being depressed. It is just a natural existence for a human who develops higher level of their spiritual temple. To 
to deal with your depressions and sadness. Consider respecting your lower vibrations. Consider once in a while coming down and living in the lower levels, paying attention to your body, paying attention to the practicalities of the material life. Shift back and forth, material spirit, material spirit, lower, higher. And as you do that, please mute yourself. There is noise coming. Max is back. I need to mute everybody somehow. Okay, Sakina, I'm muting you. Again. There is no mute button. There's mute button here. And no mute button here. Okay, I guess I will have to leave that. As you shift up and down, it could be slow shifting, one week up, one week down. It could be fast shifting. Five minutes up, five minutes down. Keep connection to the both worlds, the higher world above the veil and the lower world below the veil. Don't become disconnected from material. Stay one foot in your body and another foot in the sky. One hand grabs the sky, one hand grabs the body. Pay attention, stay in your body, feel it, scratch it if you need, exercise as you need, remind your spirit, remind your attention that you still have a body. It is essential. It is the service. It is a service to the creator. It is the service to the spirit to live your life. Don't withdraw from your life. Pay attention, be an observer, be an active observer, be a hero who acts and plays. Be serious and joyful at the same time, serious and playful. And at the same time, as you play below, keep your connection to divine. Keep that connection. As in poetry, when you compose poetry, when you do any creative work, it is always a dance between your ego, your personality, your creative vibration and the spirit. It's always a play, always a dance, always a, a salvation or a collaboration, cooperation between your you down below and you high above. The creation without the spirit is boring, is devoid of spirit, devoid of beauty, devoid of charm, devoid of harmony. The spirit without the personality doesn't land in the 3D, doesn't manifest in the 3D. It is hard to touch. So the creations which don't have the material component, the personal touch, become unreachable from the 3D, become imperfect. They're too empty. They, the spirit needs your touch, your personal touch to land in this matrix, in this reality, in this dream. Without your personal cooperation, the spirit cannot reach it. It's just a too high vibration, it cannot reach it. It uses you to reach that matrix, they reach that dream and transform it. So your presence here down below is essential. 
or better to say, your presence there down below is essential. And finally, I come to the fifth chakra. The fourth chakra was already beyond time. Time was fluid. It was more like honey in the fourth chakra. It was fluid. More like honey. And then you go, go higher, it becomes milk. And you go higher to the throat chakra. It becomes <laughs> candy. <laughs> smell, it becomes smell, yes. It is something which is vaguely familiar from the fifth chakra. It is the level which goes way beyond time. Time still exists there, but it is barely noticeable. It is like smell. It is like gas, air, barely catchable in the fifth density, fifth chakra. And this is the chakra where everything is perfect. It is the chakra of creation. It is the chakra, the level, the channel of reality where perfection and beauty live. It is the home for perfection and beauty. It is a home for laws, the home for harmony. You are familiar with it. Your sense of harmony, your sense of beauty, your sense of things being right. It is your home. You come from there. All of you come from there. Your spirit is home there. You come from that spirit space, the fifth density. So keeping connection to the throat chakra is a bliss. It is wonderful. While your heart aches with sadness, aches with compassion, it is okay, it is normal. You still have that connection to divine, which is the fifth level, fifth channel. And you connect to it through many ways because the beauty and harmony is everywhere. It is an electron and every elementary particle in chemical substances in molecules, beautiful molecules. It is in nature. There is so much beauty and harmony in the nature, in plants, animals who are natural. And you are a plant and an animal. You are beautiful too. So you are Bathing in beauty, bathing in the law, bathing in harmony. So connection to this understanding that everything is all right. Connection to this understanding that everything is all right, is essential. And it comes through the throat chakra. So just shift from the lower chakras through the heart, higher, 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 up and up, reach the throat chakra and realize everything is fine. Everything is beautiful. Everything is in harmony. Everything is eternal. Everything goes according to the divine plan. Just stay in that space, in that, from that point of view, from the fifth chakra, from your home, everything looks beautiful. It is all just fine. That home exists and it is harmonious. And you are home there. You're just dreaming that you're in trouble. <laughs> you are just dreaming that you are in trouble. Remember your home. Remember 
the space of beauty. Remember the space of peace. Remember the space of no time. Remember fifth density. Remember being a spirit. To connect to your throat chakra, poetry, songs, chants, mantras, prayers, listening to harmonious music, listening to nature, the sound is an easy path to the throat chakra, to the space of the 5D. Tune into the channel. How to start praying? Just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the universe. Thank you. That's a prayer. Thank you, the universe. Thank you. That's a prayer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, thank you. That's a prayer. Chanting. Just chant. Just whatever sound comes out of you. It can be just whisper, like shh is sufficient. Um is sufficient. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Anything, anything that comes. The intention, the message is there. Just tune into that high harmony. The wave, any wave, any wave brings you there. <clears throat> any wave brings you there. Any wave brings you home. <laughs> any noise can bring you there. Just listen and any sound, any harmony, any sine wave brings you there. So I will give you a tuning and then I will invite questions if you like, if you have questions, comments. <coughs> As I tune here, as you listen to that voice, as you listen to this sound, as you listen to this wave, I offer my service. I enter to your heart. I, saw, I enter to your vibration. I enter, accept my offer if you wish. I invite, my, I invite you to accept my help. Um, 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 um. Unmute yourself, you can speak.
Would you like anyone, would you like to speak? Any questions, any comments? I'm feeling that great vibration of your voice. Thank you. Thank you for speaking. Carol. Hey, Carol. Hello. Hey, you're reading my question, right? So what is what what are you working on this time? What healing help do you need? Well, the suggestions you gave on Tuesday were fantastic. I'm starting to feel younger. You said like go to the body part that's aching and be in it. And I'm starting to think, don't think I'm let's say in the sixties, think I'm in the twenties. Started that today. That's feeling great. Um, and then the sounds you're talking about in the fifth chakra feel really good. Um, tuning in with the cosmic sound, I guess that would <laughs> seems to be. What, what about you know? the cosmic sound? The vibration of it um, is calming mm. and. It's any sound, to me, you were saying it's any sound. Yes, it doesn't mean that every sound will bring you up. <laughs> it's your choice, but you can ride any wave, any sound to rise up. So, of course, your intention is essential. But it is a permission slip. The sound is a key which opens the door to the harmony. So you can use any sound to unlock the harmony because it is you, it is within you. You're made of it. It is the substance of your body. It is the substance of that world. If you look for the harmony, <laughs> it's very difficult to miss it. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. The harmony is in you. The harmony is in your heartbeat. The harmony is in your pulse. The harmony is in your breath. You are the harmony. Let's talk about your childhood. Okay. How was your childhood? What was specific? What was your unique pattern in the childhood. How did you express yourself when you were a child? I was quiet. There was a lot, there was um, alcoholic addictions going on and uh, domestic violence, but I would help the children, the other children in the family to feel better and try to calm them down. You know. What is your zodiac sign? Um, in Vedic, Virgo, um, Libra in Western. I see. Yes, I see. And your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh. So you are well-grounded. You are in peace with the darkness. Yet you are helping others to come together, helping others to become harmonized. You are a shepherd. Are you? I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, the quality of the shepherd, the wave of the shepherd, someone who brings people together. And um, 
harmonizes them. That's your talent. So what is your challenge? What is the trauma that you are healing? I'm still working with some of the same siblings, you know, in adult life. I took care of them in their illnesses and right now my sister. So the test is when is this, I've got this issue on 3D level of, I'm still taking care of them <laughs> and they still need my help physically right. and all. Yeah. Right. I see. And as you do that, you build your spirit and build your temple. You rise up. You have the practice of a healer. You have a practice of a helper. You have a practice of compassion. One of the challenges is how to stay high when they go down. How to remain positive and in good energies when the energies is flickering. And there is no simple answer. There is no universal solution. It is a challenge which is often unsolvable. It is often how much you can give without destroying yourself. Where is the balance? You help others, but then where from the help to you is coming? How do you stay healthy while others flicker, decay? Consider the problem unsolvable and consider yourself being an active observer. Active, helping, trying to solve unsolvable problem. An observer which just learns from experience. That second observer is essential. Just realize no matter what happens, <sighs> And as you are aging, and as they are aging, there is still an eternal part of them, an eternal part of you, which is, which is healthy, harmonious, and just learns and observes. That connection to the spirit also gives you energy. It doesn't It isn't necessary. It is not required to die sick. It is only in the Western world, in the modern culture, that people die from sickness. It might sound surprising, but it is not by design. It is by uh, a glitch in the program, a glitch in the matrix. It is by choice of humanity. Humanity just collectively plays with certain parameters in the matrix and went too far, so that happens. As the humanity gains its balance, Dying from sickness will go, will go away. It will become normal again to die because you just decide that you are done with this life. <laughs> because your life is complete. The building of the life is accomplished and complete. And that's where you exit because it is time to go. It is that simple. You build your life as a temple. You build your spirit as a temple and your life as a temple. When it is complete, you can step aside, look at it, smile, and go your way. Because you are not your body. You are not your body. Your body is just 
a temporary vehicle, a tool, a gift, a partner, but that is not you. So take it easy, keep breathing, keep chanting, singing, smiling. Use your voice, even speech is a channel to the spirit world. Just use the sound of your voice to reconnect. It is that simple. Any wave can bring you home. Any wave connects you to home. It is that simple. Any more comments, questions from you or anyone? Pranam Jugananda. Can you hear me? Yes, Akina. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I am with you. I am in you. <laughs> oh. What's new? Um. I see my, I'm having a problem with my, co my stomach, my colon, what to eat. I'm still, you know, it, it's a big problem, my food. And, uh, and my uh, throat chakra, I, it's opening now, but it, it, it's still blocked. Is my chakras in balance or can you please tell me what? I need to do and meditation. I'm not still got in touch with you, Ababa. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So first step, accept it. Just accept whatever, whatever, accept it. That's where you are. That is the time and place, the space, time, nexus where you are. Just observe it, observe it, accept it. Smile at it. <laughs> yeah. Normal, usual stuff. So, you made wonderful progress in your spirit. Now is possibly a time to go down in your digestion, lower chakras, and be there. Just live there in your belly. You were so much in your heart that you left your belly. So there is not much of you there, not much of the spirit coming there. The spirit energy there dried up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in your eighth chakra, right? In your connection to the divine. That's where you are so strong. You're like, Ooh, I'm there. <laughs> exactly. That's why you put me in, uh, everybody's put, <laughs> put me in real estate and all the material things. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the business now and uh, I was resisting, but now I've started and I'm starting to enjoy it. <laughs> so uh, it just reminds you, you know, we want your energy, your focus of attention to be down. You have to digest now what you achieved. You built uh, several more upgrades to your spirit temple. Now, it is possibly a choice, possibly an option for you just to be in your belly. Digest, digest where you are. Often it is not the food which is not good for you because you are so high, there is no, no food which is so high. You are so up there, nothing can match that frequency. So you would be hungry up there. You need uh, the food of gods, right? You need the food of angels. And it's hard to get it down below, right? It's How just not sold in the story. Go ahead. How can I get it? Uh, you have to come down to the food of, this, of the earth. So get in the state when the normal food doesn't harm you. It is possible. You just have to kind of adjust your vibration to the food vibration. Take what is good for you from, from the normal food. <laughs> what is normal? I, 
I cannot digest beans. I cannot digest rice. I, I only thing I eat is fish. And then now, you know, I have to have some kind of, <laughs> since Baba told me about fish, I feel better I, it, generally. So how about quinoa? Quinoa, I, I'm, I told you, you're going to know that I, uh, it's very uh, fibery and I, quinoa, then I have, I have loose, you know, I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah. How about greens and carrots? Can you just boil them sufficiently so they are boiled enough so it's more like... Um, soft. Soft, soft and dissolved. Yeah, I think I have to do that because raw, again, it doesn't uh, suit me because of my colon. Uh, just carrots, uh, roots. Um, and one more trick. When... You, any new food you is good for you for a short while and then it becomes poison to you because it kind of clogs certain pathways so try to run away from the old foods and try to experiment with the new foods all the time so as soon as you feel that you're full of this food this food vibration is saturated shift to the next one and do a circle just run away from what is bad for you. Do a circle and another circle. Just, it is like every food has a limit. You take it, it's good for you, and take it more, it is not good anymore. It is the nature of that weird <laughs> status on the, on the surface. But uh -huh. that trick helps to some people. It, it's not supposed to be this way, but it is this way. Well, I don't have any other choice, though. Only for fish I can digest right now. How about green peas boiled a lot? Peas I cannot uh, digest at all. It's so gassy for me. Oh. <laughs> I, it's, it's a problem for me, Yogananda, really, honestly. Just go to the store and um, use your intuition use your hands to touch different foods and different days you will get different feelings from different foods okay and uh, especially pay attention to the department of veggies some veggies would resonate with you that day okay you will, when you touch them you will look weird right but you will touch them and you'll feel positive buzz you'll feel, feel happiness today i need that vibration today it's okay to have that that and that it's okay so just do okay. it's for you okay i'll do that to Julian. um to pay attention and ask talk to your talk, talk to your stomach okay i will do that negotiate that you're good in that negotiate <laughs> what is that negotiate with your stomach ocean ocean no, no not ocean Negotiate. Oh, negotiate. Okay, negotiate with the vegetables. Okay. And with your stomach. I will. I will do that. Okay. Um, it is I'll... about just a second. It is about accepting life as it is. It is about digesting life as it is. You suffer from indigestion of physical life. <laughs> it, it's poisonous for you. So <laughs> come back to the lower chakras and be there once in a while okay i will do that i'll do that so when is when is my uh when is my i i need some com a companionship you uh, when is that happening oh uh, you do <laughs> i mean you know it's been a long time i've been saying okay i have to reach a certain point before i you know i've been you know It'd be nice. Be with me. No, 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 So what is happening, what is happening? You are doing great. 
You're doing so great, you ran out of your uh, predetermined, pre-planned arrangements. You are in a free flight now. You accomplished the tasks which were assigned to you in your life contract, many of them. In terms of relationship, now it is a free choice, free ride. There is no predetermined person who is assigned to you to meet. <laughs> it's good and bad. You have lots of choices. There, an option for you at this situation, it's not unusual, but it is a good situation, is to get a social life to get a social life. And to is another option within that option, it, it's an extension, to get a social life where you are really helpful, when people really need your help. You are inventive and it is certainly stepping out of their con conventional, convenient ways, something very unusual will give you a social life and expand the criteria of what you expect. Expand, like is it necessary, does it have necessarily to be a human? <laughs> <laughs> to that level of uh, does it does it does it necessarily have to have a body? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, right. I do want it. It would be fun. Now Baba's saying he wants me to go to the uh, West Coast. Uh, I wish I could stay somewhere you had stayed in Encinitas, right? <laughs> but that would be so beautiful. But he asked me to go to the ocean and then go to California. It'd be nice to have a company. It'd be nice to have somebody to enjoy, somebody who's on my level where we can see God in each other. I was uh, looking so different and it was a blessing and an inconvenience. But I used that to open many doors and to chat and reconnect with people at will. I will easily connect to people and we would exchange the vibrations where I would send them what I could give to them and they would give me the understanding how the reality works in this area of the world. There are some people who are blessed with the ability to connect with strangers. And you are one of them. You can, of course, connect to strangers and you can be helpful to strangers. Use that. Be helpful to others and uh, build your relationship karma. Your karma, relationship karma is, is now low. Desire is big, but there is no energy there. There is no social energy. There is no habit there. It is dried up. So, yes, that's true. So build it again. It is something that can be built. Okay. Put some some energy there and uh, and some heart. <laughs> oh, heart is always there. Bro. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Pronounce. Any more comments, questions? From anyone? 
Any more ideas? Discover who you are as you desire to be high, as you desire to be connected to God, as you desire to be a saint. Remember always to come back. Remember always to become human again. Being a human is the essential service to the creation. Being a human is one of the shortest ways to God. Being down below in your body, in your cells, in your vibrations, electric flows, sounds of your body, being with your body is the shortest way home, the shortest way to the spirit world. You connect to the spirit world through your body. Your body is a dream of your spirit and you are a dream of your body. You connect to your spirit through your body. So be in it, experience it. You manifest, you manifest anything outside of your body through your body. It is an interface. That's how it works. You manifest anything outside through your body, through your organs. When your body is gone, when you leave your body, you cannot manifest anything anymore. <laughs> the body is manifested. The world will exist because it is a dream, is a dream of other bodies. But as you leave your body, you you are not connected to this world anymore. You cannot manifest anything. You cannot change things. Unless, of course, you work through other bodies. But, but you cannot manifest things directly. Bodies are not only doing things materially. They are the interface which mysteriously, subconsciously changes the world through mysterious, subconscious, invisible actions. As you digest the world, the world changes. As you work out, the world changes. That's why people work out. One of the reasons, not only to look good, but to manifest things outside. As you work out, as you do your physical transformation, as you change, the world changes. As you learn, the world changes. When you study something, the task is not to transform something, not to do your homework, but to transform yourself. As you study something, as you do your homework, as you do your research, as you think, you transform yourself. You transform your Vibration, your formula. As you transform your formula, things change outside. That's how things manifest. So if you want to manifest something, health, relationship, ascension. Transform, change yourself. It's not... It's not mysterious, but it is mysterious. Yes. It is mysterious, but it is practical. That's how things work. From this perspective, from outside, it is obvious how it works. The spirit makes the body. The body makes you, your physical mind. So physical mind has to work through your body to manifest anything in the outside world. That's how things work. It's kind of obvious. From your perspective, it is not obvious, but just understand it. Just empirically practice it. Empirically practice it.
practice it, meaning try and see how it works. Try to change your body to achieve something outside. Try to change your mind, your emotions to manifest things outside. Experiment with it. Yes, experiment every day. Experiment with your inner voice. Experiment with your ability to intuitively get answers. Use your hands, your heart, your inner feeling. When you have a choice, and you have choices daily, many, many choices, and usually you do these choices when these choices when you don't know what will happen. So remember, this time I'm making a choice because I listened to the inner voice. It felt like that. I'm making this choice. Let's see what happens. And then when it happens, remember to look back and say, okay, this choice I made because it felt this way. It felt like that. There was certain buzz, buzz, certain feeling, certain vibration, certain tingling. Because surprise, inner voice usually comes through something which you can understand, something which is you can feel. It comes, it manifests in your mind through certain signatures, signature vibrations. So when things happen, and when you had inner premonition, inner voice, inner knowing, and things happen, remember to look back and say, okay, I listened to that vibration, and the answer was positive or negative. I guessed it right, or I guessed it wrong. That's simple. For the beginning, do it just yes, no. Later, as you calibrate your senses, you will be able to get more complex answers. It would be like, yes, no, maybe, doesn't matter. Hopeless, all right? Many answers. Yes, no, really, yes, really, no, doesn't matter. Hopeless or completely hopeless, right? Many answers. Or how many? One, two, three, many, right? So you can calibrate that. Until, until you get a conversation going, until not only you speak, but you also listen and get more complex answers. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hello, Yogananda. Hey. I finally figured out how to turn this thing on. Oh, thank you. I do have a question. Go ahead. Uh, relating to health, um, for the last five years, I've had an irregular heartbeat, and it's been beating pretty fast. So I've gone to a Chinese doctor to help help me with it. It's just been proving, but it's t it's not gone yet. You know, I really would like to heal it. I'm working on it. You have any suggestions? Mm, yes, let me let me let me <clears throat> connect to you a little bit. I'll send you a tone. Um, let me enter you so I have a better sensation. Um, um, What is your relationship with extraterrestrials? Are you an alien? Oh, yes. <laughs> what kind I'm of an alien are you? Well, I think I'm a mix. You know, I have Palladian, I believe, and um, probably Orion and uh, Andromedan. And 
you know, a mix. Is it coming through your family? Pardon? Is it coming through your parents? Do you have relatives who are of that kind? Yes, the same. I don't know. I don't know. Because I just started learning about the extraterrestrials, you know. I see. Yeah, about a year ago. So I don't know. Of course, there is a material explanation to your question. But from their uh, philosophical point of view, from the metaphysical point of view, it is about your relationship with time. Hmm. You are not well tied to the time of this reality. <laughs> hmm. You create time differently. The, your spirit creates time with a different pattern. You are from a different reality, from a different planet when where the time flows differently. Mm. So it's hard for you to ground in this timing. You are shifting naturally, you're shifting to a different time pattern. And when you shift to a different time pattern, you lose your connection to the body, you lose your connection to um, the physical world. You become inefficient. The flow of water in your body becomes disharmonized oh. so how do you change the water mm. do experiment with your diet and drinking okay. drink, what kind of water do you drink um, alkaline water or you know water that's been through the reverse osmosis um. What is your thank you? What is your relationship with aluminum? I don't know if I have any. Um, how much of your cooking ware is aluminum? None, none. Oh, wonderful! Yes. Um, how is the relationship with silica? Plastic. Silica oh. is. Uh, Wow. Is uh, yeah, glass and uh, it's a substance. It's a, 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 a chemical element. It's a chemical element called silicon, I guess. I don't know what my relationship is with silicon. Mm -hmm. There could be something that simple, uh, something nutritional. Yes. Um, what is your Connection, not what is your uh, environment in terms of electricity? Are you living in a city or suburban area? Suburban. I will live in a small town mm -hmm. surrounded by a green belt. Mm -hmm. College town. Mm, yeah, beautiful. Um, I, are you working with the water stream like river or creek something like that no. that would be really helpful um in terms of metaphysics i'm not doing i'm not giving you medical advice in terms of metaphysics mm -hmm. really connect to living water and develop a certain ritual which is handy for you some people Just stand in water bare feet. Some people stand in, uh, bend to water and wash their face. But some ritual where you connect to this water because it's all about harmonious movement of water-based blood in your body. So it's nature of the, of the water, uh, structure of the water which needs some adjustment. Okay. Some timing of that structure, some relationship between your blood and the time. So working with living water and uh, swimming, of course, would be slow, 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 so slow. And breathing. <laughs> breathing is essential. Mm. Well, is it okay? I haven't real. I don't like to swim in those pools because they have chlorine in them. So you're saying swim in a river, probably, right? I don't see why chlorine would be bad for you. I think it will be even better for you. 
Oh, really? Ex uh, experiment, empirical experiment. Mm -hmm. Swim slowly, meditatively, chanting if you can. At least in your mind, chanting for a happy amount of time. Mm -hmm. Make sure the pool has to be, um, what's it word? Visited, frequented by healthy people. It has to be healthy energy of the pool, not not sick people, not yeah. angry people. So that is essential. Mm -hmm. And see, maybe chlorine would improve. You have a good feedback. You know when the heart doesn't beat right, right? You have that weakness, right? Mm -hmm. So you you know really well when it works, and also. Time it properly relative to your uh, sleep. Ah. It is very important how do you sleep. How is your sleeping pattern? Well, it seems to be pretty good. Um, I think I'm sleeping quite a bit right now. Uh, as the energy goes up, I've had to take naps and uh, through the Chinese medicine and everything and, and napping. I don't have to nap now, so I, I sleep longer. Uh, I'm working with the flames in the Yes, morning. yes, absolutely. I work, I work with all the colored flames, you know, from St. Germain, and I, I feel like I'm elevated, and I, I can go out for an hour, and I feel like I'm being healed by these different colors of flames. You know, it's just beautiful. I'm doing that in the morning. Just, just Flames and napping. Napping is absolutely essential. Make sure to time it. Okay. Time it in a harmonious way because sleeping pattern is one of the most critical patterns. And for you to get back the harmony, you need to consciously help it to be harmonious. It doesn't have to be very rigid. I mean, if you cannot sleep, don't force yourself. But at least try to Consciously plan your day to to get highs and lows, highs and lows. And napping is absolutely great tool for that. If you can nap, some people cannot nap, but if you can nap, that would would be great. Flames yeah. too. Flames are wonderful. Yes. Okay, I can do that. And uh, accept it as it is. It doesn't have to be. As long as you can function, it doesn't have to be perfect. But mm -hmm. it is about you getting more in, uh, able to control the timing of your body. How you create, what you think, and at which intensity do you think, at which intensity you create the time matters. It is mm -hmm. your mind creating time in a different pattern, not, not, not like any other mind. So you create time with a different pattern. And as you think, try to adjust your breathing and the speed of your thinking, that would help. That is one of the approaches how to uh, be more in harmony with your heart. So what, what part of the universe did I come from? I feel an Arcturian connection, but oh. um, that is all I can say right now. Unfortunately, I need to wrap up. There is a, a small emergency nearby. There is, oh, okay. A printer is not working, so I have to go. Max has to go fix the printer. Okay, well, thank you so much, Yogananda. <sighs> oh, my. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you much for 
Thank you so much for co-creation. Breathe easily. Mm. Be in harmony with your timing. This illusion is a space-time illusion, so harmonize it. Harmonize it. Harmonize it. Um, 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 yeah, thank you. Go ahead. Um, 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 um,